Hello. In this video, we are going to be finding out what the cosine of 2 times some angle x is given, well, we, we need to find out what that's equal to, given that we know that the sine of that angle x is equal to, let's see, how about 2 over 11, and that we are in quadrant 2 this time. And that will become important later. So let's pull up our uh, double angle identity that we learned for cosine of some angle. Well, cosine of two times some angle, right? That's what the double angle part comes from. We learned that, let's see, let's write it down here perhaps. We learned that the cosine of 2x is equal to 2 cosine squared of x minus 1. Okay, so what we should be able to do is if we find cosine of x here and square it, and we should easily be able to solve for what the cosine of 2x is. But notice we only have sine of x. So how, how can we work that out? Well, I'm going to pull up another identity that you should definitely be familiar with. We know that the sine squared of x plus the cosine squared of x is equal to 1. All right, so we should be able to solve for the cosine of x, or even better, the cosine squared of x, because that's what we need, right, in terms of the sine of x, which we will turn into sine squared of x. So I'm actually going to solve this for cosine squared of x, because after all, we actually don't need cosine of x. We need cosine squared of x. We know that just, I'm just rearranging the formula, the identity here, cosine squared of x is equal to 1 minus sine squared of x. Okay, let's bring that up here. Let's, let's get to solving. So cosine squared of x, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write out a template here. We know that the cosine of uh, 2x cosine of 2x is equal to, right, just 2 cosine squared of x minus 1. And cosine squared of x, we know, is going to be equal to, so cosine squared of x, important. Actually, let's, let's do this in a different color, just so that we can differentiate these better. So, ooh, that's kind of ugly. One sec. I need to find a more suitable color. Uh, this will have to do. Okay. We know that, no, that's okay. We know that cosine squared of x is equal to 1 minus sine squared of x. What's the sine of x? Well, we learned that's 2 over 11. So this is going to be 1 minus 2 over 11 squared. What's that going to be? 1 minus 4 over 121, I believe. We can simplify this further. That's going to be equal to, right? That's going to be, uh, let's see, I'm going to write this as 121 over 121 minus 4 over 121. So that's, what is that going to get us? That's going to be 117 over 121. Okay, so this is going to be our cosine squared of x. Now we could take the square root of this and call that our cosine of x, but actually we know this up here. And I sort of lied earlier, uh, because in a previous example, I wasn't really paying attention to this, um, the quadrant was important because we were, we were trying to find the cosine of x. Uh, and when you, when you use a Pythagorean identity over here, uh, you need to be careful when you solve for one of these that you're taking the square root and making that plus or minus, right? So if we were solving for this, that would be the plus or minus square root of 117 over 121. That would be the cosine. But we actually don't have to do that because all we need is cosine square root of x. So whether it was negative or positive, regardless of the quadrant, in this case we know it's negative, it's squared is going to be positive. Um, 
regardless. So we actually don't have to worry about that. This is the only answer we need. Uh, but it, it's good. It's good to look out for that. Um, and I think that this is a good example of uh, where that comes up. So let let's plug what we learned into our formula. Just get a nice color for this. I'm trying to get back to that nice orange we had before. I'm not sure how close I can get. So cosine of 2x, well, let's just substitute. Cosine of 2x is going to be 2 cosine squared of x minus 1. Right? That's what we found here. Well, what's cosine squared of x? That's 117 over 121. That's what we found over here. So this is going to be 2 times 117 over 121 minus 1. All right, we're, we're going to simplify this a little bit further. What's 2 times 117? It's going to be 234 over 121 minus 1. What is that 1 going to be? That's the same as, I'm going to just write this as 121 over 121. We can do that just so that we can simplify these fractions. So what's that going to give us in the end, right? We take 121 from 234. That's going to be, right, 113, I believe. Yep, that should be right. If I just double check, yep, that looks right. Over 121 is going to be the cosine of 2x. Let's, let's write this out in a finalized form. I'm going to write it in blue. We learned that given, given this stuff, and we actually learned that the quadrant was not important in this case, that, I mean in terms of determining the cosine, that the cosine of 2 times our angle x, which we never figured out, is going to be equal to 113 over 121. That's less than 1, so good, right? That's actually possible. Because remember, cosine and sine both have to be below 1. And that should be our answer. You can verify this on a calculator if you just want to take the uh, arc sine of 2 over 11, uh, multiply that by 2, and take the cosine. That should give you the correct answer. Um, but the important thing is that without using a calculator, we were able to find this exact answer uh, that's not in some extended decimal form. Uh, though this is rational, you'll notice we are, it is uh, 113 over 121. Uh, it's still a useful tool to be able to uh, kind of convert between these values uh, in some cases and solve for these values. Uh, but I think that as we move forward, the actual applications of these identities will be will become more clear, and that this these examples are more about being able to get used to using the identities um, and how they function mechanically uh, in terms of the math. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'll see you in future videos. Thank you.